All right, got my detector, got my shovel, got all my pop cans, <laughs> got all my accessories, even got my bin. But you know what I forgot? I forgot my vest. It's got my pin pointer. It's got all my stuff on it. <sighs> Maybe we could chalk this up to old age. On, really who does that all right hey everybody pop can dan i am back <laughs> and then uh, that might be my new slogan i'm back anyways it's a weird not a weird day it's a you ever wake up and it's just like everything seems to be clicking like i woke up i felt great uh the, the, the sun it's beautiful out here like it's mild and i mean we're pushing close to christmas we're two two weeks away from christmas and it's nice and mild though. This is the field where I got that, that 48th Regiment uh, Highlanders military button. I just got that 1863 French coin from France with the, the grunge band guy on it, whatever his name was. I don't know, uh, Napoleon Dynamite. I can't remember the third. Anyhow, it's just everything. I, I got this feeling today. I feel good. The field looks good. I feel good. Oh, I'm excited. Just before I get started, though, um, <clears throat> one quick thing I want to say. Two quick things. Uh, people, uh, if you know what a roundabout is, you know, like they have them all over the world now, roundabouts. When cars are approaching a roundabout, you have to yield. I almost I almost got smoked back there by this one woman. She just came ripping right through, went right around, and I was I heard, there before her. But I, I yielded, and she went right through, and I would have smoked her. Anyways, enough of that. I, I got a lot of road rage, by the way. I don't know if you know that about me outside of detecting. I, 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 I wish everybody in the world drove like I did, but then we wouldn't have a problem. That's that's what I. That's how I. Maybe I was born in Quebec, and that's how we all drive. I don't know. But anyhow, wanted to mention quick. I wanted to give a big, first of all a shout out. All right, my my Equinox uh, a few weeks ago <clears throat> um, broke, like the uh, the the, uh, the coil snapped, and. I posted it up online and said, hey man, you know, what can I do about this? The outpouring of people in the community that came to my rescue immediately with, with suggestions, uh, offers. I, I had about at least six or seven people offered, said to me, I'll give you, not give you, I'll loan you my 800, uh, my Equinox 800th coil until you get yours fixed. And I'm like, dude, that's really nice. But then one guy stepped forward, a few of them stepped forward and said, oh, make 3D prints of that, of that piece and, and you can glue it to, your, to the uh, coil. <clears throat> and I'm like, that's great. But one guy stepped forward and his name is Matt Thompson, all right? Matt Thompson, Matt Thompson actually 3D'd me this. I don't know if you remember that from a few years back. He is just the nicest cat you will ever meet, all right? I'm telling you. He immediately messaged me privately and said, Dan, I've already started 3D printing you some. Is your email address still this at? Because he had my address from when he sent me this a few years back. I said, yes, it is. And he's already sent out three of them to me on the way. I'm like, how nice is that, man? Like, so anyways, special thank you. Hats off, Matt Thompson. This cat, man, he is awesome. He's part of the Relic Dirty Hands with uh, Lori and, and Eric Gagne. Uh, Eastern Quebec, Western, no, Western Quebec, Eastern Ontario uh, area. Uh, just a great bunch of people, man. But hey, thank you very much, very much. All right. I needed to get, take that time to thank you. Um, all right. Back today. I got this back under control. So we'll start with this, the, uh, the AT Pro. And if something goes a little funky with it, I got my Simplex in the truck. I'm ready to roll. I'm excited. I got a good feeling, man. I got a good feel. I got a feeling. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you people watch my channel. It's hilarious. Okay. We'll see. All right. We'll see. Here we go. Okay. First things first. <laughs> I was wondering why. I remember the last time my AT Pro got a little crazy. I said, so I switched over to the Simplex. I know why now. I know why. Another rookie mistake. I swear to God. I've been... 
In March of next year, I will have been detecting 30 years. And I still make the, I won't say that word, I'll say the silliest mistakes. Um, so my Garrett AT Pro is down to one bar left on the batteries. And do you think I checked that? No. Of course, why would I do that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, I had a signal here. Uh, it was ringing 70 to high 70s, which is, you know, that's a coin range to the AT Pro uh, copper. And uh, I almost didn't dig it. I had to go all four ways around. And I'm like, eh, it still sounds like it's a little scratchy on the ends. But I'm going to dig it anyways because I'm out in the field. That's, you know, I always say that, you know, even though sometimes it's a little scratchy because there might be a square nail or something next to that target, that good target. So I'm glad I did dig it and I'll show you why. All right, look, down the one bar. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> I tell you, man, I'm I'm just, people don't listen to me when I talk. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, she's an oldie too, eh? Look at those big, big, big prongs on that fork. Wow, that's a beaut, man. That's a beaut. I'll take that all day long. And it's funny because right on top here, it's just loaded with bricks. Like that's the house was right there. And I'm starting to find stuff what I thought is the back of the house now. And I'm wondering if the this slope of a hill here was just their, their trash dump. They just threw trash. You know, I don't know why they throw this fork out. I might have this with dinner. <laughs> there you go. Good find. Good find. Okay, it's still still at one bar. We're still there. <laughs> okay, so this is a signal. Now, folks, um, if people tell you, oh, I don't dig uh, bullets um, uh, because they're, I, I can tell the difference. You're full of, you're full of pork pies, baby. That's what I got to say because this is the, about as sweet of a signal as they come. All right, and uh, yeah, so there it is, another bullet. Uh, guess what? Well, this is, a, this is a coincidence. My buddy Pete camping pete <laughs> remember my video with the peter meter <laughs> he's coming for dinner tonight him and his wife so they he can inspect this because he is the bullet expert all right i save these for him he looks at him he keeps them he's got a collection of these things he's a he's a gun fanatic he really is uh makes me nervous though <laughs> right on there we go all right running on borrowed time there with that at pro i'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, boy! Oh, boy! Compared to my hand, that's that thing's huge. That thing's huge. I got a ton of iron. I got to haul out of this field, man. Crazy. And just like that, folks, my rookie mistake has cost me in the field. I have to. Uh, what the heck is that? I thought that was a coyote. Um, <clears throat> I have to go back to the truck and swap it out. It just died on me. So anyhow, let me swap this sucker out, and we'll be back in action. Here we go. Yeah, I'm onto the simplex now, and even that, I, I was charging that. I think my son pulled the, the thing out of the charger because he wanted to use it, which has not impressed me, man. I got to talk to that kid. Anyways, I got something here. I don't know what it is. I thought it, I popped it up. I thought it was half a crotobel. It was on the on the simplex. Now, I don't know the numbers, man. I know that, like, high 40s into the 50s, you can get copper. This was a 95 solid, and I'm like, I got to dig this. I don't know what it is, but I got to dig it. And it looks like a, a half of a massive crotobel, bell, but I don't think it's a crotobel. bell. I, it, maybe it looks like a, remember the bells in school? Oh, these are for the older people, not the younger kids. When you'd go up to the desk and you'd ding the teacher's button, ding, 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 ding. I think that it looks something like that. I don't know. Check this out. All right. After giving my age away here, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. I haven't, you know, cleaned it yet, but I don't know what it is. Looks like it got clipped there, but let me, uh, you know, out in the middle of a field here, it's got to be something. Let me let me clean it up and see. All right, folks, here it is. Um, I'm going to ask for your help on this because I have no clue what it is. I really don't. Um, it's it's serious metal, though. It's like pretty sturdy the way whatever it was made for. Uh, I know I have friends who uh, watch my videos like Andrew Taylor. Um, I call him James Bond because he's so slick. He's a good guy. Uh, lives up here in Canada. He seems to know a lot of the stuff that I find. He's very knowledgeable. 
So I like to uh, lean on him sometimes. So Andrew, if you're watching, what is this? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, found one of these last time, man. <laughs> Check this out. All right, yeah, way down in the fields there, there's guys in the bush, in the trees. I think they're hunting. I'm not sure if they're hunting or not. I've heard gunshots here many times when I've been here in the fall, but anyways, I don't care about that. All I care about is my little tiny buckle, another small one, like right up to just one knuckle or one joint. Look at that. That's how small it is. Very, very cool. But you know, folks, the song is not called Buckles and Forks. I'll tell you that right now. But I will tell you something funny. Um, my uh, detecting buddy from Texas, Teresa K. Everybody knows Teresa, man. She's been all over the. She's all over the community. She's all over at all the events. Great person. Uh, I saw she was going uh, gold panning uh, and, and Deadwood or something. And I, I comment. I made a comment. Oh, that's my bucket lister. And she immediately. <laughs> Roll back buckles and spoons, buckles because she loves. Well, I don't know if she loves it or drives her crazy. Buckles and spoons. So I, I said, hey, I feel inspired. So I, I wrote back. I said, shovels and pans, shovels and pans. Teresa's, what is it? Teresa's lugging all the shovels and pans. <laughs> Anyways, just being silly, man. I'm telling you, I don't know why people even put up with me. <laughs> there it is. Okay, time seems to be standing still. I feel like I've been out here for three hours. I looked last time I looked at the watch; it was like forty-five minutes. Crazy. Um, maybe I'll put another forty-five minutes in here before I take off. Okay, I uh, just got something round and green. It was a killer signal. It was like sixty-six on the simplex, and it's round. But it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's a coin or not. But it's round and it's got a copper look to it, like a patinaed green. So we'll go together. We'll check it out, and let's be disappointed together. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go all right the old simplex look at that eh? just picking it right up look at this look at that roundness right there look i'm gonna go around here look at that all right but i just don't think it's a coin unfortunately what is that it looks like oh maybe maybe it's like an old cap to something Ooh. Okay, not a coin, but it's an old. It is what it is. It's uh, it's old. Some kind of cap, or is it a tag? Let me look closer. This might be a tag. No, I don't think it's a tag. Actually, it wouldn't curl in like that. It'd be more like a like a dog tag in a sense. But okay, hey, cool, cool find. Anyways, all right, I got about thirty minutes for a wrap up, and I got a. It was a stunner signal right here. I think it was like seventy something on the uh, simplex. What is this man i mean I, I don't call it a buckle it looks kind of like a buckle but it's like i don't know what it is all right here you go here's the dimensions you guys tell me what you think it is look at that crazy man crazy stuff out here i tell you all right everybody popkin dan i am signing off man i did a big big round in this field uh didn't get a whole lot. I guess this uh, this old fork here. That's my uh, that's my find of the day. Uh, but I'll take it, man. I love this kind of stuff. Like, and I think if I clean it too, I think there might be something on here because it's I don't know. Pretty cool. Uh, anyways, I got a uh, couple of bullets for my uh, my buddy Pete's coming over for dinner with his wife. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this at the at setting at the table at, at where Pete's gonna sit, and I'm gonna say, Pete. Sorry, man, we don't have enough utensils. You got to use this. <laughs> Anyhow, that's silly. But hey, man, I'm signing off. It was a good day. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, yeah, I think I dropped a lot of names. I dropped one more name. You know what? This was a real name drop in video. Uh, last thing I'm going to drop is Liz Cabrell. Um, Liz is called the Digging Canuck, and she's uh, she's recently um, sponsored by uh, Knock the Macro. And... Uh, very nice woman. I, I uh, messaged her. I was asking her a few questions about the Simplex, man. And she's, you know what? She's all about, uh, she's all, you know what? Actually, I'll just move to the side here. I'll put her picture right here. Uh, me and her, I hung out with her a few times. And uh, very knowledgeable and answered my questions. Nice woman, all right? Digging Canuck. Thank you very much. Folks, that's it. I'm out of here. I don't know if this is my, I always say that now around this time of year, I don't know if this is my last outing, but we'll see, you know, if it is, it is. If you see me again, my ugly mug, you'll know it wasn't. <laughs>
There you go. Be safe, man. <laughs>